Let's talk about Wikipedia's API and how you can use it to give real knowledge and real direction to your LLMs. Let's get into it. So I've been playing around with free APIs, as you guys know, and I discovered this one here, which is the Wikipedia API, which is very, very interesting. Basically, what it does is, is it just gives you the text from any Wikipedia page, right? But if you think about it, it's actually incredibly useful because if you're creating anything, even remotely complicated, you're going to need knowledge, right? So one example of this is uh, this experiment that I've been working on, um, which is creating a directory for national parks, right? If you ask ChatGPT to just give you a summary of everything to do with you know, Zion National Park, it will not give you this level of detail. It, it doesn't have this level of detail, especially something like GPT-40 Mini. Anthropic 3.5, for example, probably does have this level of detail. But, you know, activities, trails, camping and lodging, all of that stuff, it's not going to come from ChatGPT very easily, okay? You're going to have to give that knowledge to ChatGPT somehow. What the average temperature in July Zion National Park in Utah is going to be, right? It's just, it'll make a guess, it'll hallucinate, it's not going to be able to give you that exact information, right? I think we can all agree with that. So that's where this comes in. And this is a very, very simple system to use. You can just copy this, right? Go to Claude or, you know, wherever you want to, whatever you want to use, give it the documentation and say, write me a Python script that scrapes a listing page on Wikipedia, right? So for example, national parks in US. So this is a list of national parks in the US and then finds all of the separate links, um, separate pages that are then scraped for information about each national park in the US. Okay, so we'll press enter here. So what this should do is it should scrape this page, find this list, and then scrape each of these pages individually. I don't know how well that's gonna go to be honest with you, but we'll see. I'm just gonna say, I don't want you to extract basic information. I want you to extract everything about national parks from the individual pages. I'm just going to run this script for now, though, just to see what it does. And then, obviously, the idea here isn't just to use um, this system like this. It's then to feed this information to your LLMs, right? Which is a very, very easy part of the process. God, I, this, I have so many folders here. Uh, national, uh, I'll just say hide up, probably, whatever. Paste this, and then terminal, new terminal. Uh, yeah, it's not install, pip install. So we need to run that command at the top here. Pip install Wikipedia. Okay, so yeah, this is failing because it's it's trying, there we go. So look, processed, inspiration point, Bryce Canyon, November jpeg. Okay, why <laughs> what the fuck is this even doing? Yeah, so here, now it's starting to scrape them, right? Because they're, the ones before are all images, which is why it's not working. Um, but now instead, it's doing them, uh, doing the actual pages. So when it says processed, it means that it's actually successfully scraped that page. So when this is all done, you can then feed this to your LLM system, right? Um, and you can say, okay, now we want to make a directory. This is the data that we found. Uh, use this data in your... Uh, on your pages instead of just you know AI generating or whatever. So there are a couple of things that I've I've been thinking about how this could be useful. Now one of these, right? This is a very interesting one. Is to basically you you can see um, so what's it called in all. So if we go to the final inauguration, right? Okay, so it hasn't been updated yet. But basically, ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, Trump began his second presidency when he was inaugurated. And so. What we can do is we can look for changes on Wikipedia articles and use those changes to then write an article, right, uh, retrospectively. Because then you've got this entire um, Wikipedia page plus the change, right, which means that you've got something new, you've got something to write about. Let's just explain what I mean. So Wikipedia updates when something new happens. If you watch for changes on Wikipedia, you have news that has happened you can use the wikipedia page plus the change to write a news article for example today the wikipedia for donald trump states he was today which means you could write an article about this this kind of ties in with the Google Trends thing that I was talking about the other day. This is one use of this, is to have this system here. But basically, the main use of this, what I'm kind of looking at here, is when you go to, like, 
programmatically generate a page, right? So you want to programmatically generate a page, right? But if you're using GPT-40 Mini, for example, then uh, it hallucinates a lot. The reason you might use GPT-40 Mini, by the way, is because it's extremely cheap. If you use Anthropic or Claude Sonnet 3.5, it won't hallucinate, but it's not up to date. Right? So then you have to think about scraping. So do you scrape to get real information? Yes or no? And then if you decide to, do you want to do something that's in the gray area or completely allowed? Because Wikipedia is completely allowed, right? You're allowed to scrape it as long as you say that you got the information from Wikipedia, right? So at the very bottom of the page, you just put a little thing that says this, some of this information comes from Wikipedia, and then you programmatically generate a page, but Instead of just allowing GPT-40 Mini to hallucinate or Claude Sonnet 3.5 to not be up to date, you're programmatically generating a page that is now accurate, up to date, no hallucinations, because you're giving it the, the information and it's real um, information. So all of these things are in real data as well. All of these things are super, super important, right? And it's, it's actually something that I might be looking into um, introducing on Harbor, because at the moment, Harbor kind of just scrapes the internet, just like perplexity, which I'm not a big fan of, to be honest with you, because not everyone is okay with that. Like I've been looking for a long time for something like this, which is why, you know, this is quite big what I'm giving you today. You you're you can use this to give unlimited amounts of knowledge and information to your LLM. So you can see here, nationalparts.json. Um, let's just go down to one that actually is successfully processed here. So look, you can see this uh, basically just got a summary of this, but you could get all of the information from this. You don't need to just get the summary. So now you have this entire JSON file filled with knowledge for your uh, LLM, right? So you have your coordinates, which if I say to ChatGPT, right now, I'm not saying not. I'm not 100 sure about whether this will actually give me a correct answer or not. Let's let's find out. Let's use GPT for a minute. What are the coordinates for Yosemite National Park? I mean, it might be correct, but 378651. Yeah, so it, it it's not correct. You can see it's literally not correct. 119. Five three eight three. It's like a little bit off, right? So yeah, I don't know. I, and what is the area? What is the area? Let's see. Approximately seven fifty thousand acres, but it's actually seven five nine six two zero, right? So you can see how this can start to really transform from just you know LLM crap from ChatGPT four and mini into something a little bit more refined, right? So if I say now do this again with this data, so now it has an exact like data set, right, to go from. So that's kind of it for this video, guys. I just wanted to talk about this because one of the biggest problems we have is how to give knowledge to our LLMs that is both allowed to be scraped and also free. And the Wikipedia Python API is the solution to this problem. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want my idea for a million dollar website in 2025.